So do we want to play the flube here? Probably yes. Free for body, sign me in, be my guest. So next turn we can switch to Malfurion. I would like to go for fast combo now. So I think next turn we just uh, coin out the infestation, so I think now it might be pretty simple decision to just play the spellstone because we don't want to order on next turn. I think we had a, like the game versus the warrior. We had a little bit like naturalizes, it just draws him 20 cards and And it should kill him in the fatigue because like we don't kill the 8-8 eight, eight, that we could kill our Azalinas. Now we have a florist, so we just jam two minions to prepare the florist. Or we could maybe play MC Tech and take a risk. Okay, there's Naturalize, sure. Like luckily we have all key combo pieces or in hand already, so if he draws us extra then it's not an issue. You can go Tog Vagal now. But it doesn't make any sense. Like, he gets two naturalizes out of our deck, so maybe it does some sense. So, I guess now we just jam the minions. To set up the florist. And we still have all naturalizes in the deck, so... So, like, we need to cycle first. We still don't know if he's Maligos or Switcher as well. So it's good. We got this count on Togwagel. This is better against his Azalina. Station now, sure. So now we get both Naturalizes, so it could be good to swap. And play both Naturalizes and Azalina. It puts us ahead on the board. Yeah. Like in our deck there's literally nothing to get. Now it's interesting, like we are ahead on the board and we both have the same cards. I can go Togwagel and just swap. Like mainly you should focus on board now in situations like this because if you focus on the deck It's not gonna lead anywhere most of the time. Like we have Malfear and he does not that's really good So is branching paths better or is it better to wait a turn? It's probably better to wait a turn So in his deck there is a still Naturalize. A good thing is we have Malfear and he does not. We are a little bit ahead in terms of life total. So we not just, just go on a board. The swap shouldn't be a big deal. It's all about the life total. So if it's zero mana Azalina, we can just jam the board with it, like if he clears. The ransom is not an issue. I don't think we care like where, what, which deck we are drawing from. Okay. So now I get my hand. Now I feel like he's bleeding way too much on board. He's drawing two or what's going on? Or armoring, he should armoring. So I can ransom back, or like I think even better is to send him in fatigue immediately. He will not get a card. His card to draw, card step, and a draw step. Like we both will not, but I have a board. Like now he's issues like on the board. Like um, that's what's very important in this matchup. Like 
the decks goes back and forth and like no one actually gets the cards but sure You see he's taking way too much damage in the process. Yeah, now it's easy. Like, a lot of skin skill is involved in this mirror match, so... Like, uh... Jesus main Indiana is saying, I'm not sure if the deck is healthy for Hearthstone meta game. Uh, I completely agree with you. Uh, I think uh, what's really bad at the moment is that there is no minion such like a Dirt Tourette to fight against the combo for every class. So, for example, now if you play the Control Warrior, there's nothing you can do to fight back against this deck, and that's what I believe is really bad. Like, the Warlock has a demonic project, so if uh, this deck would be way too popular, you know, you can just play the Warlock and you know get a good matchup but i think like every class should have a way how to fight against the combo deck and now let's say if you play like playing priest or control warrior there's simply nothing you can do about this deck so that's why i believe the designers could have done the better job okay pivox 57 subbed thanks a lot now i catch up it it's quite fast so so i'm improving guys so, I guess we just rev this guy away, because uh, we'll draw a lot, so I would like to utilize my cards into the board. And also he could place like something like Shadow Step and uh, draw more. But now he's ahead really in the card draw, so I need to catch up with the here. Because you win by swapping the decks and put him into Fatigue. Like, we have a big advantage in terms of Crystals, so that may help. Like, it never happened to me that I catched him with uh, crystal core in hand like i'm not sure like how often it should be that might be interesting like to play the crystal core and get the four force out of plague but probably there's scale height and shadow step interesting so i assume like he has every all the all the scale heights now so i cycle the howl and put the inventor on board right Is bouncing. So now we can clear. So which minions do we want? Poisonous or one fives? Probably the poisonous. <sighs> so I'm actually under decent pressure. So scale height plus vanish. Yeah, I saw that coming. Now I'm happy that I have these spiders. Frost Widow is actually one mana. I didn't know that. That's sweet. So he's at four. So he can play the scale height and crystal core simply. I feel like I'm playing token druid now. We can do clear this guy and push for 15. That's funny. Now I feel like he kind of needs to have second vanish. Because if he doesn't, I'm not sure how he will utilize fight against this board. He can volley right yet. Like if he goes like... Uh, I think even the, the, the inventor doesn't stop this. He has a scale height. Okay, now Sonya scale height is OP as fuck. He can clear trade, trade. So he can heal 8 and clear this guy. On the other hand, it caused him the Sonya. He can heal 8 only. He's still dead, like if I'm correct. Yeah. He would play scale height for 2 mana and then 4 more. So he would kill uh, uh, 2 Trons and 1 guy. But he would heal only. 12 because he would be remi removing the divine shields and then he would just die in a process 